Hey, what is up, guys? Carried everything here, and today, welcome to the first video on our channel, which is gonna be the unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi Band 2, which I just recently bought. So let's get into it. And here we are. For at first, we're gonna get some connecting guide, which is Indonesian, obviously, because I bought it from an Indonesian online store. So let's put it to the side for now. And this is the box itself, a white box for the international version, as you can see. It's actually much more elegant compared to the original Chinese version, which is a brown cardboard box. As you can see, it's mostly still in Chinese though. Alright, so let's crack open the box. Put the plastic open. And we're in. Let's just open the box, pull it up. And there we go first thing we're gonna find is the unit itself that looks good actually lift it up and we get the rubber strap right underneath the box pop and open the compartments we're gonna find just the USB charger so you don't get a wall charger you can plug it to your phone charger if you want to but you don't get one considering the price is only 250,000 rupees are equal to $20. So ripping the box open and there it is, the main unit itself. There's also a user guide, user manual. We're not gonna get into that though. It's a pretty basic thing so we don't need that user guide. So the unit. This is how you charge it. You plug the unit into the USB cable. You can plug the USB cable into a wall charger or your PC. The choice is yours. So it turns out that my unit got no battery right out of the box, so I had to charge it up for about 20 minutes. Now it's charged up for about 21%. It's gonna be enough for this video. Next we can put it into the strap, push it in just like that. It just just a little bit because it can get sideways sometimes since it's a pretty flexible rubber band. So grabbing a phone, it's not my phone by the way, it's my girlfriend's phone, so you know, which is why the wallpaper is like that. So inside the app. After you sign up or sign in, this is what you're gonna get. You can pretty much adjust your band. But first, you're gonna have to pair it. It can take some time. After you got vibration on the band, you tap the band itself. And there you have it. Once you are connected to the unit itself you can do some settings including the watch face the notifications we'll get into that so first off first we're gonna tap the find band see if it's connected it will vibrate once if it does you can select whether you're gonna wear it on the left or right hand you can select the watch face there's only two though you can't really add another one you see as you can see it's already changed and you can select what to be displayed on the screen you can select all if you want to you can activate the lift to activate feature so that you when you lift your wrist the clock turns on, just like that. There we go. Yep. Oh, and it's updating the firmware. It's gonna be two updates. 
It won't take too long, maybe a minute or two. Once the update is successful, your band is going to be reconnecting itself. You just make sure that your band really is in the latest firmware, otherwise it might not function properly, it might not track your heart rate or track your foot steps properly, it might not track your sleep properly. So yeah, make sure it's in, in the latest firmware. So the next thing is that we can set some other notifications to be patched into our smart band. First off is the incoming call. You can turn on incoming call alert so that when your phone receives a phone call, your band vibrates. So even if it's in silent, you know there's a call incoming. You can set the alarm to help you wake up in the morning. You can set the band to receive and patch through some other notifications from your apps within your phone. And you can manage the apps. Okay, settings done. Then then you can manage your apps. Up to five apps can be added, but no more, no more than five, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm selecting my email, my line notifications, and WhatsApp. And that's pretty much what I want for now. That's it. Oh, I've been in funds. Beautiful. An idle alert. It will notify you that you have been sitting for too long. And by too long, I mean one hour. If you have a Xiaomi device or a supporting other devices like the Samsung Galaxies, you can turn on a smart unlock so that when your band is connected, you don't have to get through your password or your fingerprint, and etc. Keep in mind though that your friends can get your phone to your phone too. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. That has been the unboxing and the first reviews of the features of the Xiaomi Mi Band 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and help the channel grow. Be seeing you guys. See ya.